Hello everyone and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today's video is an office makeover on a budget. As you can see from the front, my office looks fine, but when you're actually in my office, I have a ton of bare walls. I didn't want to spend a ton of money in here just because we're really working on the rest of the house, but it was so hard to work in this office space with it not completed. So I wanted to hurry and just tackle this area and get it done. So when I worked, I wasn't in like a chaotic space. So some of you guys might need some of these details too if you're working from home, which I think we all are. So I'm about to show you a few of the items I picked up. There's one more thing that's not in yet, but it comes in during this video, so I'll show it to you then. But let's go ahead and get to decorating this office. I know you all find it really helpful when I talk about prices, so I'm gonna be doing that in today's video as well. The first piece is this ottoman. It was originally 80, I got it on sale for 70. And then this gray chair I picked up from a garage sale many moons ago for 20 bucks, and I grabbed two of them for a pair for 40. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that at my desk instead. So I'm gonna clear out the other ottoman that I have in there, that little stool. It was just kind of making it do. I feel like I had some pieces to like throw in here, but it's not how I wanted it to look. So I'm gonna take those pieces out and start putting the pieces in. Um, and then I'll talk more about some of the pieces I bought while I was out shopping. So my best money saving tip for you guys if you're trying to decorate a room or a space on a budget is to use what you have. So shop your home, look all through your house. I definitely been doing that before I headed out to the store, but I was still lacking a few pieces. But definitely shop your home first and know what you need and take some pictures of the space before you go out shopping just so you have an idea of what you're needing. Um, this blanket I picked up for $16.99. I thought it would be a fun way to add a little bit of pink in there. Plus I'm just always chilly when I'm editing. so. Not only is it cute, but it's functional as well. And just so you know, I will wash this before I actually start using it, but I like to open it up and make sure I like it in the space. Is it gonna fit? Is it gonna work? And then off camera, I'll go throw it in the washer and dryer just to make sure it's nice and clean. You and I, we're always on the edge. We fight and make love at the same time. Would you break up just so this bare wall was driving me crazy. It's been driving me crazy for a while. So I ran to Home Goods and I found this artwork and it was $29.99. I felt like it was perfect for the space. It had a lot of golds in it and whites, but it had that little touch of blush, which I'm trying to throw into this room just to make it a little more fun and girly since it's my workspace. Okay, now we're gonna move on to a little DIY. As you can see, this chair has black feet at the bottom. Is it fine? Yes, can I make it better? Of course, thanks to Amazon, it suggested this to me one night, and so I went ahead and ordered them so I could try them out for us. I'm all about repurposing furniture if you can. It's gonna save you money, it's gonna save you time, especially right now with furniture stores, nothing's in stock, you have to wait till like March or May. Plus, like I said, this will save you a ton of money. So I'm just gonna screw off those old black legs and I'll show you what they look like. They were needing new feet for sure. They were pretty banged up just from moving. And like I said, I'd got them from a garage sale, so there's no telling how old this piece is. And then we'll move on to working on the new feet. Right here you can see how like banged up they were. Now these are very affordable to replace them, but say you're on like a super tight budget, you can just spray paint them. So even if you can't buy new ones, take them off, spray paint them and start new. You could do gold, a pop of color. Here are the new ones right here and you do have to kind of screw those pieces into the bottom legs. 
Now, we didn't know this came in sizes at the time, so we just ordered a set. Um, so if you buy the right size, this is all you have to do is screw in that screw into the clear part and then screw it into your chair. But this, once again, wasn't the right size. We had to install a new piece, which you're gonna see here in a second. It was still easy to do, but definitely take the time and make sure it's the right size and it'll be even easier and faster. So in order to make this work, say they don't have the size you need, or once again, you order the wrong one like us, all you have to do is make a new hole and just pop it in there. And then there's three screws. You just screw it in and then the new leg screws right in. So it takes a little bit longer. It's not that much harder. So don't panic. So just in case you order the wrong size, you can definitely still make it work. As you can see, that didn't take hardly any time at all. It wasn't hard. Um, I'm gonna leave that link down below my description box just in case you wanna check some out for any of your chairs. I'm super happy with them. But while Chase finishes up working on the rest of those feet, I'm gonna head back into my kitchen to start working on some of the pieces I bought. Um, I was needing a picture, so I was going through my pictures on camera and I thought I'd show you a few of like when Savannah was little. And then I have one coming up of like my sister and I in high school right there, I'm on the left in the pink I had short blonde hair I know it's crazy and then this one our heads have been chopped off I think Savannah was using it for her scrapbook so I thought that was funny but I'm gonna go ahead and take that picture and put it into a new frame I do have a fun bookshelf that's gonna arrive here really shortly and I can't wait to put it together for you to see it because I'm not one to have shelves in my house I don't like knickknacks I don't like clutter but I am loving this piece so much and I can't wait to show it to you Here's a quick tip when you're needing to cut out a photo for a frame. Take out the fake photo that's in the frame and lay it over your picture and then just cut around it. It's gonna save you from like having to measure it. It's even better when it's like a piece of glass because you can see where your lines are gonna be, but that's just an easy way to do it. Side note, I know I'm missing an L. I have no idea where it went. And the frame was only um, $5.99 from HomeGoods. <laughs> I also have a few other pieces for the bookshelf. I picked up this clear business card holder off Amazon. And then I also picked up these gold pins. I was trying to just get creative and not buy a ton of stuff um, from the stores that's just like knickknacky. I wanted a few things that I could actually use. Um, that coffee mug I actually have in my store. So if you click it down below, you can actually buy the Till Vacuum mug. And then my business cards I made like at the very beginning of Till Vacuum. So they're probably not what I would style now. Now, but I want to get through them before I make any more so I'm just gonna use that mug to hold the gold pins that way I'm getting some pink and gold and white on the shelf and then since my business cards are the same color for the most part I know that pinks a little different it'll just add some color to the shelving I thought adding like a candy jar would be fun on it as well. And I found this one new at Ross for $7.99. Savannah's gonna assist me while I film her, which is always nice. Um, these orange candy slices are like my favorite candy to eat. My grandpa always had them. And so now I just get to think of him every time I eat them. So I thought it would be the perfect thing to have here in my office. And it's a little like pick me up when I'm editing late. But as you can see, Chase is still in my office working on the feet while I'm working on all the other stuff. That's how we like like to do these projects is just tag a team them so we can get in and out as quickly as possible. Uh, uh, oh, uh, everybody will be on me, wanna join me when I take a shot. I'll be the center of attention like I was some kind of astronaut. Cause I'm shooting for the moon tonight and I got a feeling I'm gonna crash some stupid party. 
So if you just hang on a few more seconds, I'm about to show you a side by side of the difference legs or feet can make on a chair because like I mentioned, I have two of these chairs. So I wanted to show you what they look like with the clear feet and then what they look like with the black feet. So right now it's not a huge difference, but it definitely adds some glam for my beauty room. Um, now the black ones are a smidgen taller. You can tell by the height, but I am so happy with these. I feel like it just looks so much better and like my girly office back there. So I'm so glad we did it. But now I'm gonna go ahead and do some vacuuming just because we got a lot of wood pieces in there and I don't want the boys or Savannah walking on it. So I'm just gonna vacuum real quickly. And then I also wanna let you know here in a little bit, I'm gonna show you how I hide my computer cords. So I get asked that all the time. Anytime you guys see a picture or video of my office, you wanna know how I have my computer plugged in and you don't see cords. So I'll be showing that just here in a little bit. Yeah, I'm going all night, I don't need to stop. Now it's time to work on the next project, which is this shelf, which like I said for me is totally out of my comfort zone, but I felt like we just had this empty wall and I had no idea what to do with it. So once again, I was on Amazon and this popped up and I had to try it. The instructions were amazing. It's normally not that way. They were even really funny. And this said 30 minutes to assemble and it was so true. It was not hard at all. Just took a little bit of time, but it was so worth it. Um, Chase is definitely gonna come in and help me and the boys like to help Chase, so it's like a domino effect. We just all help each other when there's home projects going on. Here is how it's looking so far. I was already super excited when I could see it at this point. I knew it was gonna be perfect for what I was needing. But while Chase was finishing it up, I like to tidy up. I feel like sometimes projects get overwhelming just because there's trash everywhere. So if your partner or your roommate or your spouse, whatever is helping you work on something, definitely just go in and help by cleaning and it kind of just keeps it less stressful and they have more room to work. So right here, you can really tell the wall that I'm putting it on. I know sometimes it's hard to tell like where I'm at in my office. And so Chase just definitely made sure it was on the center part of the wall. It was exactly where I wanted it before we put the screws in. Definitely just mess around with it before you start making holes in your walls. But once we knew exactly where it was going, he's gonna go ahead and just take a pencil and kind of mark the circles on the actual um, shelving itself. And that just makes it so much easier. So just make sure your shelf's lined up and then use a pencil and then you're not like measuring to make sure you're getting those holes exactly right and while he's working on that I'm gonna start bringing in all this decor and just putting it close to the floor so when I go to decorate it it's like all right there and I can see what I have and what I'm working with and it just makes it easier when it comes to decorating
Now that Chase has the holes ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum up all the mess before he screws in the shelf, just because right now it's gonna be easier to clean versus once it's screwed into the wall. So just take a few moments, get all that dust cleaned up, and then you don't have to worry about it and you can go straight into decorating. Okay, real quickly while Chase is working on getting those shelves screwed in, I'm gonna decorate it when he's done. But over on Instagram, I get asked all the time, even here on YouTube, um, how I hide the cords on my desk since it's like floating. So I'm gonna show you how I do that real quickly. So as you can see, I have a floating desk, so everyone wants to know how I plug in my computer. Now, typically I have decor here hiding this cord, but I'm probably gonna use it over on the shelving. So I might do something else differently here, but I wanted to show you option A, and then I'll probably be showing you option B. But right here, all you have to do is find something to hide it, and it can run across your desk. And then I have it running, that's my trash can, down, and you can tape this. And then I just cut a hole in my rug so you can just kind of slit it and slide it through. And so it's running underneath my rug into an extension cord. And then I have my wedding dress right here in the corner. So you may have something else or you may have to get creative with the plant or something. But then the cord's running underneath her dress from my rug. Let me stand up. <laughs> and then it plugs in behind her just like that. So, and then I just take her dress and fluff it better. And my, like I said, my cord's just going underneath her dress, underneath my rug. It's in a little hole up and then plugs in. Um, I just like floating a desk in like offices like this. So if you can make it work, it's nice. I think I'm gonna have Chase drill me a hole into this so I can run it through and tape it underneath the desk and like tape it down the inside of the desk and run it. So I might be doing that here in a little bit. But a lot of you kept saying I needed a new desktop. I have looked and looked and looked because I'm not buying an Ikea so I couldn't reorder one. We found it on eBay. So if you're needing a new topper, definitely check them out. Okay, so here's a look this way. You can tell there's no cords minus the one on the desk which you could hide with decor. And then here's the view this way. So it's just a nice way if you do want a floating desk, you can hide that cord without it being, you know, too crazy. Obviously, you could use like this outlet. You could run it like underneath the rug and put a plant or a basket there with like a throw. So definitely just get creative. Um, Chase did say he can link this tabletop. So if you're needing something like that, just check out my description box. So the shelf is finally ready for me to decorate. So I'm gonna head back over there and just use all the pieces I have. Now, if you love a ton of like knickknacks or you have things you collect, this is perfect for it. I don't love a ton of stuff, so I didn't want to fill all the shelves with just a ton of things, but I did, you know, two things on one shelf, one on the other, three is really pleasing to the eye, but I don't think I put any more items than three per shelf, and I think it just looks perfect. I was trying to save some money because I wanted to get like designer books to put on there and I found this sign for $7.99 at Ross but it didn't fit. Um, I did find like a set of like fake ones for $55. I think you get like three designer books. So I'm gonna order those probably for the bottom shelf. I think they'll look really good and just be really glammy for this space. But here is how each shelf looks just in case you need help decorating some of the shelves in your office. I just wanted to give you an idea. Um, I will have everything linked down below in my description box that I can that's in stock or that's able to buy um, just in case you're interested in any of these pieces. I will say the like Monday mood, Friday move piece I found at Ross and they gave it to me for $3.99 because it didn't have a tag so I thought that was a steal.
all of you that have been around here for quite a while are probably giggling because you know I move this ottoman everywhere. I've had it in three houses and I use it in every single space. It's just so functional. If you don't have one of these, grab it. Make sure you get it in a neutral color um, because I love to put it just in different areas in my house. Um, while I was putting that ottoman in, I noticed George had attacked my blinds and windowsill at some point. I'm sure when the Amazon guy came to deliver me packages. So I'm going to go ahead and just wipe it all down so it's nice and fresh and clean. Also, if you're in the market for a trash can, they have some really cool prints for only $3 or less. My white and gold one right there came from Walmart and I'm always shocked by their prices. So here is my final reveal. As you can see, it's just a little bit of a mix between old and new items. You can definitely make your room feel fresh and airy. Um, definitely cleaning and declutter will always help as well. So you might start there before you decorate or do anything else. But I just wanted to share this with you. It's definitely on a budget. We didn't buy any brand new nice pieces, but we found some affordable ones to just fill up those blank walls. And I just love it so much more in here. As you can tell, we didn't get to the desk part for like option B that I said I would. I'll be doing that in another video, but we got distracted and went and fixed dinner and then I forgot to come back and do it, but we'll definitely be doing that in the near future. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I may be sharing it over there as well. And I have that in a highlight of how I do my wires, just in case you want to go back and watch it or show it to your husband, you can check it out over there. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.